Yo, are you ready to see some reactions like this? Let's get started. <laughs> I ain't gonna look at you. This could take several hours. <laughs> What's going on folks and folk around us? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to the channel. And this portion of my channel, I'm going to be doing a movie review and the movie that i'm going to be reviewing here is called when you watch uh, i don't want to give too much away <clears throat> but if you was to watch the movie you would think like okay it's pronounced this way but it seemed like the movie is pronounced barbarian but through in the movie you're going to hear the word like barbarian y'all know what i'm trying to say like you're saying it's trying to say barbarian barbarian just saying anyway this movie stars bill skarsgård if y'all don't know who that is that's the guy that actually played the clown from it, he played Pennywise, and also um, Georgina Campbell, who's I don't really know much about her, but uh, she's in his movie. And then, of course, Justin Long. If you don't know who Justin Long is, he plays in a ton of movies. For example, he played in uh, have y'all seen Jeepers Creepers? He's the main guy in there. Then, it's, um, but you'll see once you, once you see his face and all, you'll be like, oh, I know who this guy is. And Richard Brake is another guy that's in his movie as well. But anyway, Barbarian or Barbarian is a movie about a girl that shows up to an Airbnb. She shows up to the Airbnb to find somebody else living there, not living there, but they're written the place out too. And then the story goes on from there. And in this movie, like I told you guys, it is something that I think that if you are a horror movie fan, you should go and see this right here. If you are a horror thriller movie fan, you should go and see this. And the premises of this movie is set up absolutely great it's set up in michigan in an area that if you know about michigan i think this director did a good job with uh portraying not just portraying but showing how a lot of places in michigan looks and so there's things that's going to happen in this movie that you're going to be able to pretty much correlate to well oh this would happen in michigan but one thing i can say about this movie is that it is completely 100 percent unexpected what happens in this movie i like the fact in this movie that there for one uh you would think that you know where the movie is going, but you don't. I like that I was completely thrown off in the turn of events that happened in this movie. There is, yeah, there's jump scares. There is the thrill. There is the intensity that builds up. You know how things start to get intense. You, oh boy, there is complete shock in the movie. And one thing I like that they added in there is that adding touches of comedy in there was like the equivalence of you eating something but then it always give you a hint of something that actually made it taste a little better so that's what i like about this movie now what i love about what they did also in this movie is the preview that you see to barbarian or barbarian the previews is what they should do with a lot of previews which means they don't hardly give you anything the girl in here, Georgina, did an excellent job. Wonderful actor. She definitely tasted the cake in her acting in here. Uh, of course, of course. You know, it's always um, Bill, Bill Skarsgård did a good job in here. The character that he played in here. And what they did really good in here is that they, they, they definitely made you understand the characters. Now, there are some things in here that you're going to be like, Okay, that's just stupid. That's just dumb. Why did he, or why did she, or why did they, da 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 But again, that's what I love about stuff like this. They don't give you anything. But I can tell you this, especially if you are a gamer. If you love the game Resident Evil, like The Village, and like you love the movie, like, you know, I'm not going to give too much away. Let's just say if you love the movie, the vi I mean, if you love the video game Resident Evil, The Village, and you like movies like, you know, People Under the Stairs, uh, those type of things where, you know, it's it's it gives you that dark feeling, then you're definitely going to love this movie right here because they did an awesome, awesome, awesome job with this movie. I love how they give you, you know, it's one of those type of things where you actually get like a backstory as well. You get to see how the characters kind of came to be, why they are where they are. 
And that's what I love about this. So if I was to give this a rating, let me stop for a second before I give the rating. As much as I love this movie, it's definitely one of my collection. Like this is going to be one of my collections. Like I hate, I, I'm glad that it came out, but what I wanted, I wish it would have came out closer to Halloween. The reason I say that is because I have my Halloween collection of movies that I have. I would love to have gone and seen this during Halloween. During at least if they would have let this release, you know, October the first, this would have been a perfect feel for the you know. I because I'm just telling y'all, you know, the Halloween month is my favorite month. I know people got Thanksgiving and Christmas. My favorite is Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. Like you, know, you celebrate? No, that's not what I'm saying. I love the Halloween month. I love the sweater weather. You know, cold sometimes not cold, cold, but you know, a little chilly where you can wear the sweater or you wear like long sleeves, whatever like that. You know, I just love the fall weather and the way that they had this movie set up. It definitely, I'm weird, y'all. I'm one of those people. It definitely would have set you up for that environment. Like I would have liked to have gone and seen this movie, which we did. I saw it yesterday. Um, it was cold and dreary outside and cloudy. And this movie was the perfect setup for that. But like I said, to me, if they would have released this bad boy, at least the month of October or the end of uh, September, a lot of people probably would have been really you know, thrilled to go see this because I think that this is one of those movies like what I did with John Wick. When John Wick first came out, I swear I was on here praising John Wick like nobody's business, telling everybody you have to see this movie with Keanu Reeves in it. This is the best movie I've seen this dude play in. I, I, got, I like him better in this movie than The Matrix. You got to get a peanut butter. What I'm saying about this, I think that if you are a horror thriller movie type person you should go see this movie right here. you don't have to worry about nothing like paranormal i can just tell you that it's not paranormal or anything like that but it is some yeah you're gonna get the feel okay but you definitely should go see this movie if you are a horror movie thriller fan now out of a um, 10 something like that i'm talking in the horror movie genre out of a 10 for me in the horror movie genre i would definitely give this movie like a 9.25 that's me. Y'all like, what is up with the numbers? I don't care. I'm just doing something. I'm like, I want to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it like a 9.25 out of 10 on a horror movie thriller type level. So that's my take on that right there. If you watched this movie already and you've seen it, let me know what you think. Do not give any spoilers to this movie because there's people out there that have not seen it. Don't give any spoilers. Don't say, oh, I like the part whenever she... Don't say anything like that. Let me know what you think of the movie and what you rated the movie without any spoilers, all right? Appreciate it. Y'all should check this out. I'm telling you. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.